four, three, two, one. Keep in mind, Mitch Halpern was criticized for not stopping the Ruelas Garcia from last year, in which Garcia died. We'll see if he's overly cautious. And as expected, by Tyson, as expected, by Tyson comes out fast. As soon as he hit him, he got him. He got his attention. And Mike looks like he's going to take his time. He's so strong that it's unbelievable how much it's how, how difficult it is to move Mike. How will Holyfield respond to these early brawling tactics? A straight right hand, a quick right by Tyson. Tyson then with a left up. The crowd behind Holyfield. And Lander settling this down to more of what he wants. A sort of boxing match rather than just these big slugging. Holyfield comes back with a left hook. Holyfield with a combination to Tyson's head. You know what? There you saw it in Holyfield for a nice body shot. Now Holyfield's coming close a lot. We've been wondering. Oh, a straight right hand by Tyson that landed as we head for the back. He can't fight inside with Mike. I don't think anybody can. Holyfield kicking to the body with a right uppercut. Vicious left hook there by Tyson, but it was warded off nicely by Holyfield. That left hook missed by Holyfield. He spins Tyson around. Tyson against the ropes. I'll tell you what, the crowd thought that Mike was hurt. That Mike had a good shot. Again, something unusual. Oh, a straight left hand by Holyfield. It's been Tyson holding on. I'll tell you what, this is going to be a long fight like this. Uh, it, you know, it's, it's just going to be long. Holding every time they get close, and they get close a lot. Because the band is not retreating. It was the tail end of my honeymoon in November 8th. I flew in to see the fight, and it didn't happen. Good exchange here. This will be a real attrition battle. We approach the final 10 seconds of round number three. <laughs> As Holyfield looks to counter punch off the swinging miss. Ooh. Holyfield coming on. A right up the gut. Counter punch combination by Tyson. But Holyfield getting the better of that dude. Break, break, break. That's Overall scary. strength is going to be a big factor with this type of fight, too. Evander can't keep wrestling with Mike all day and still be effective enough and strong enough late, later on. Badly, or they get, let him have some in the round. Good combination, fast, not slicking. Quickly tying him up as he comes in. Straight left hand there by, by Tyson, but a glancing blow. Back comes Holyfield. I think Tyson's got to get back into his rhythm again. He, Amanda Holyfield is disorganizing Tyson. He's keeping him out of his attack. That hurt. There's a right, hook, right uppercut to the body and left hook to the chin. I'll tell you what, that got Amanda's attention and good. Tyson unleashing uppercuts to the body, digging to the chin. It startled Holyfield. It sends him back a bit. Yeah, right to the body. Punches here by Mike Tyson. Left uppercut that sent Holyfield backpedaling. But Tyson's force, the force of his blow is changing everything. Short left hook by Tyson right on the nose of Evander Holyfield. He's trying to beat a man who has lost only once in 46 fights. Mike Tyson with a straight right hand. Well, Tyson said he's more patient and more disciplined in the ring. He's got all his anger under control in the ring. We'll see if it bears true. Now the jab of Holyfield. The right hook by Holyfield. Uh, Tyson. And Evander has the reach. He should use that up that jab more. Round five was a good one for Tyson. The crowd a little quieter as a result. He looked confused because he was getting out boxed for the first four rounds. But that's a big left to him. Now what? Mitch Halpern again calls oh, time. Accidental headbutt. Accidental headbutt. headbutt. Who's cut? Oh, Tyson, Tyson is cut. Tyson is cut. Can't see much right now, but he is cut. After four rounds, they go to the score cards on an accidental foul. Now, both wailing away. What an exchange. 
Mike got in some very clean shots. I was surprised that Vander took them standing up so easily and came back. Cut, not looking good. Above the left eye of Mike Tyson. So now a sense of urgency hey, begins cut, to develop. Cut. And madness. Because of the cut. Ooh, a low blow by Holyfield. That was a low blow to Mike. Holyfield hit him real low. And it hurt him. Mike's face crinkled when he got hit. He grimaced. Holyfield turned on by the crowd. Less than a minute, round six. Holyfield's closing this round like a champion, like the overachieving warrior oh, that he is. Oh, down goes Tyson. A left hook. Three, four, five, six, seven. That was a body Are shot. Okay? I think he was a little more balanced. Note the time, 35 seconds left for the six. Evander Holyfield is letting it all hang out. They can pick it up battle after the battle. There's that range that Holyfield has to stay at. That's the range. He's developed the respect, and that's the range. Online scoring. Here's Tyson. Holyfield's got a good corner on there. Tyson. Tyson fights at such a frantic pace, and you pointed that out. Look out now as they come together. Again, the headbutt. That one buckled. That one buckled Tyson. Tyson. I mean, Tyson actually got a headbutt and hurt. He's going to need all the help he can get in there now. You know, as Mike comes rushing in, Evander ducks his head to not catch a shot with his head up in the air, and those heads are just banging. One at a time is not going to get it done. Evander's zeroing in on a big shot. Tyson is confused, frustrated. He unleashed a flurry there, but Holyfield comes right back and counters to the head. Evander Holyfield starts to wear out, as he does in all fights. If that's the case, that may be the only chance that Tyson has to pull this out. Well, T Holyfield has always known in the past what tools to bring to a fight. And he's proving it again here. Look at this toe-to-toe -to -toe action. It's a nice right hand by Mike, but he's not falling. See, Vayner's ducking, and he's trying to... This is what makes this sport so great. You can't really handicap it. Ooh. Oh, straight right hand by Evander Holyfield. That shook Tyson on the turn. He got Mike's attention. Mike's firing back, and now the, the slugfest ensues. That's not Evander's fight, but he's winning some of those combinations very well. Now Mike is getting to that little level where he might need a knockout. I don't know what the judges are looking at. I don't know how much they give a favorite uh, immortal-like fighter like Tyson's becoming, but I have him ahead by so much. I have a vendor ahead by so much that it's getting to the point where he either he gets a knockout or he's going to win this fight. A right hook followed by a left by Holyfield and countering with a combination is Mike Tyson. That left hook, which is usually lethal, being guarded beautifully by Holyfield. See, I've got him ahead by three, and, uh, meaning that if he bought one every round, it, you can only get a draw. Tyson missing and Holyfield countering with a right uppercut. First real signs of weariness on Holyfield. First real signs. Oh, a straight right combination by Holyfield. Holyfield looking to air it out. Holyfield's on now. He's taking a shot. He's going for it. Oh, Tyson's in trouble. Field smothers Tyson. Looking to put Tyson down and end the fight. Tyson is not in trouble. He's saved by the bell. Mike is out on his feet. The winner by way of technical knockout in a stunning upset. The new WBA heavyweight champion of the world, Evander, the real deal. Holy fear!